What's good in theory isn't good in practice. High performance people don't up their peer group, in case you didn't fucking know. High performance people fl are eagles, they fly alone. They don't hang out. People like Ellison, Jobs, Trump, Gates, don't hang out. They don't go to the uh, sports bars and watch fucking whatever you do at a sports bar. And you want, if you want to hunt with the big fucking dogs and pee in the goddamn tall grass, that's not what the fuck you do. When I, you say good morning to me, I have flashback from my military days because it was never a good fucking morning. What's fucking good about it, Pina? You're the sorriest fucking cunt in this man's army. Pina, are you a Mexican? You like me, Pina? Now, no matter what you say, you can't win. If you say you like him, you faggot. And back in those days, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it was not a good fucking thing to be a faggot in the military. So when you say good morning to me, I have flashbacks. So don't say good morning. And this is the beginning of a week that will change, not because it's a journey. That's my other pet peeve is, life isn't a fucking journey. <laughs> Motherfucker. You know, a, a, me, a meander, like a, a river meanders. It goes like this. And why does it go like this? Because it goes until it hits something hard, and then a rock or something goes back the other way. And Andrew Carnegie and, uh, um, and uh, Napoleon Hill, who wrote about Andrew Carnegie, talked about it, you know. People meander through life because they just take the easiest, and that's what everybody does, and whether you're trying to up your fucking peer group or not, that's what the groups do. Because nobody in the peer group is gonna say, you're a cunt. I don't want you back in this fucking group anymore. That's not gonna happen. And that's why when we talk in the fourth day or fifth day, when we talk about the difference between mentors and mastermind groups, there's no comparison, zero comparison between which, was more, uh, which one is more effective, and we're gonna show you some statistics, a couple years old, but they're gonna show you some statistics about, and this is, uh, this is a Trump exaggeration now, my good friend Donald. The Don Here are uh, mentors, and this is mastermind group. It's not quite that dramatic, but it's almost that dramatic. It's almost that dramatic. The demographics of this seminar and Dan Penyon QLA have changed in the last 10 years. It used to be 35 to 50, and now it's 15 to 30, early 30s for the most part. And as evidenced by how many kids in here are less than 30. And there's a few. There's always, that's about 60% and then the other 40% are the rest of the ages. And why has that happened? As I mentioned last night, because there's so much information on YouTube now. You can really, uh, not just YouTube, but uh, the internet, that you can really get educated. And again, for the YouTubers and for the people that are here, 99.9% .9 of all the people that have been assisted by QLA, um, and uh, its methodology I've never met. Face fucked, link fucked, uh, um, tweet fucked. I wouldn't know them if they came in here and shit on the floor. I wouldn't know. It's the one-tenth of a percent that I've actually interfaced with, and all that one-tenth of a percent are the guys that made the billions that are up on that wall. Not one of the fucking billion guys or gals didn't I touch with my fucking hands like Jesus Christ himself or Allah. I touched every motherfucker of those. I laid my fucking hands on them. But there's plenty of guys that have made hundreds of millions that I didn't lay hands on. And one of the things, and when we talk about goals in the third and the fourth day, I want to be billionaire. That's my imitation of uh, Romanians, because they all want to be billionaire. Then they get 10 million euros in the bank and they retire. 100%. 100%. Want to be billionaire. When I was growing up, I didn't know how many zeros there were in a million. People in East LA, where I came from, that was not on their uh, mindset. Staying alive was more on their mindset. I told you yesterday, if you're an accountant, this will be harder for you. If you're an engineer, this will be harder for you. If you're a lawyer, this will be harder for you. If you're German, this will be harder for you. Austrian is a half-assed Nazi anyway, so it's about the same. And I call everybody. I mean, I insult everybody. I, I, I don't discriminate. I don't give a fuck if you're black, yellow, blue, purple, Muslim. Doesn't make a difference to me. You're, as my daughter, God rest, God, no, I was gonna say God rest her soul, God love her, would say my daddy teach, treats everybody the same. 
he, he treats him like shit. But it works. Now, Donald, my time, I knew someday if I lived long enough, my time would come. My time is now. Because Donald Trump, which I don't agree, and I endorsed him quite a while ago, and I don't agree with everything he says, but he's uh, morphing into a politician because it doesn't matter what the fuck you say. You say whatever it takes to get elected. In any country, it doesn't make it worse the shit you are. And he is the class, he's a classic example of showing that, in America anyway, they're up to here with it. They can't stand it anymore. Otherwise, why would such an outrageous guy like him be where he is now? Either that or the America, Americans are all fucking crazy, which that's a whole other story, but you know, uh, you have your own opinion about that. But I mean, the uh, political correctness is a manifestation of uh, that the, the world has no self-esteem anymore. I'm going to say it again. Political correctness is a manifestation uh, showing that the world has no self-esteem anymore. When we talk about the differentiation between me and other guys, maybe you know, you know my age, uh, or that have come uh, since me, generation since me, my father was an alpha male superstar, and all the guys that he, he got out of the military with in World War II were alpha male superstars. I didn't know anything different than alpha male superstars. I thought that's just how the guys were, as opposed to the cunts that you've been raised by. And whether I'm the father figure that you never had, which a lot of people say, I'm not trying to be your dad, believe me. And I call everybody kids because I'm either old enough to be your father or your grandfather. The kids today, the youth, and you're all youth to me, lack leadership. Lack leadership. And Jack Welsh, who I have a great admiration for, who in my judgment is the greatest CEO uh, executive uh, in the last hundred years, the former CEO of General Electric. Um, and we're going to talk about his methodology, rank and yank. We rank you so we can fire the bottom. Rank and yank is, is, is not rocket science, but it's genius if you implement it. The problem is... Nobody wants to implement it because you've got an HR department telling you, not HR, human resources, telling you that you shouldn't do it. YouTubers, we'll see you tonight. Um, bye.